Have you ever wondered how successful people rise to the top? Well, here are 10 success habits that I learned from Bill McDermott's book, Winner's Dream. Be sure to stay to the very end of the video because every single habit is important. So ready? Well, let's get started. Habit number one, dream. I know it sounds so cheesy, but it's probably the most important habit. So to find extraordinary success, you have to start with a dream. After all, winners dream. Your dream needs to be something that is big enough to inspire you in the long term. For Bill, it was becoming a leader of consequence. Whatever your dream might be, make sure that you do not limit your dreams. That's the advice Bill gives in his book. So what is your dream? Success habit number two, seize opportunity. Here's something Bill likes to say. People who seize opportunity get one reputation. Those who wait for the perfect job get another. So what that means is that you should not wait for things to be just perfect. Take on new challenges, you know, walk out into the unknown and turn every opportunity that you get into gold. Success habit number three, want it more. For some opportunities, you will have to fight. There might be 10, 20, 100 other people who want what you want. Some might even be more qualified than you are. But you gotta be the one who wants it the most. If every cell in your body screams, yes, you will find a way eventually. Success habit number four, believe in yourself. Especially when you're hit with adversity, you may start thinking, oh, I, I can't, or I'm not good enough, or I don't, I don't have what it takes. And here's Bill's philosophy. Never let the circumstances of a moment supersede the size of your dreams. So if you want something, you will find a way because you have the will, the creativity, and you will put in the hard work that is necessary to get to your dream. So start believing in yourself. Success habit number five, set audacious goals. In this book, Bill asks, who wants to leap out of bed to win silver? That's a good point. Why not go for gold? When you set audacious goals, you will not only aim higher, but you will also reach farther. You might not even achieve the audacious goal that you set for yourself, but you will be much farther ahead than if you hadn't set that goal. And the other interesting thing is that you will get people's, people's attention when you set these audacious goals. And here's another piece of advice. If you want to increase the chances of reaching those goals, write them down. This will dramatically increase the odds for you to achieve those goals. Success habit number six, be prepared. Bill always has a plan. That is another habit that sets him apart from others. Vision and goals will not come to life without a plan that outlines how you will get there. So what is your plan? What are the most critical steps that you need to take to reach your goals? Success habit number seven, execute with vigor. And that is where many people stop. You have the perfect vision, bold goals, and the perfect plan, but you do not execute. You don't have time, life comes in the way, the fire fizzles out. So don't let that stop you. Don't wait. You gotta start executing now. And to quote Bill, if dreaming requires optimism, audacity and empathy, bringing these dreams to life is a more concrete endeavor, demanding hard work, discipline, teamwork, communication and courage. So what step could you take right now to start moving towards your dream? Success habit number eight, visualize success. In an interview, Bill says 
that if you possess yourself with thoughts of positivity, success and great outcomes, you're much more likely to find them. And that's exactly what so many athletes and musicians and actors and performers do. They visualize themselves, they imagine themselves performing countless times in their minds before they go on stage and do these great things. Success habit number nine, register ambition. So after you've proven yourself and have hit some of these audacious goals, it's time to register your ambition. In politics, you can only be elected if you are on the ballot. So make sure that your leadership knows what your ambition is. Success habit number 10, be yourself. It sounds so simple, but it's yet so powerful. And it's probably the most powerful advice that you will ever receive. When you stop trying to be someone else and start being you, everything will become easier because you just need to be you. So that's it. To close with a note from Bill to his readers in his book, Winner's Dream, which, which I highly recommend, and all these 10 success habits are coming from this wonderful book. So what he says to his readers at the end, and I think that hits really the point is, ultimately, your winner's dream is your journey as you strive to be true to yourself and create a life of authenticity. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, Ingo's Classroom. I'd be very thankful if you did so. And lastly, if you think that other people would benefit from this video, please go ahead and share it. I think you will do them a great service if you did so. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.